Hey Adult Fitness, it's Margaret. Um, today I'll be leading y'all through a warm-up. Um, the equipment you'll need today is just a floor mat and as always a water bottle. Um, and so now we can just get right into it. So let's start out with some side steps. We're going to get these side steps going, increase our heart rate, get the blood flowing. Awesome, let's keep that up. Great job. So now with these side steps, we're going to add in some punches, some side punches. So as we step to the left, we're going to punch with our right arm. As we step to the right, we're going to punch with our left arm. Get our upper body engaged with this, still keeping those side steps going. Let's do this for just a couple more seconds. And then from here, keeping those side steps going, we're going to go right into the bicep curls. All right, let's get those going in three, two, one. Awesome. Again, keeping those side steps coming. Let's do these bicep curls. It's really important on these curls to emphasize that eccentric lowering phase. Really strengthen our biceps here. Let's keep these going for a couple more seconds. And still with those side steps, we're going to switch from the bicep curls to some tricep kickbacks. All right. And then three, two, one. Awesome. So with our arms, we're just going to do those full tricep kickbacks, making sure that we fully extend our elbows to feel that lengthening of the tricep muscle. Nice and slow and controlled. Great job. Keep it going. Just a couple more seconds of this, and we're going to go into some lateral raises so we can stop with the side steps. Let's get going on those here in three, two, one. Awesome, great job. So just right into the lateral raise, we're gonna, I'm gonna turn sideways here with a slight bend in the knee and a slight flexion of the hips. We're gonna take our arms and laterally raise them up and come back down. From the front view here, this is what we're gonna look like so that our shoulders and our elbows become parallel with one another. Let's do these nice, slow, and controlled. You can absolutely modify this by keeping the same posture, but just bending at the elbows and lifting up. We're still working the same muscles here. It's just a little bit less range of motion. All right, let's keep those going. I'm going to fully extend for a couple more. Awesome. After this, we're going to get into some hip rotations to open up our hip flexors, engage our lower body. Awesome. Let's get two more of these in. Two. Last one. Great job. So now join me with your right leg. We're going to rotate our hip outward, outwardly rotate, and then inwardly rotate it back to center. Now with the left leg, same thing. Outwardly rotate and back to center. Let's keep going with those. Like I mentioned, this is just going to open up our hip flexors, engage our lower body, and get ready after this for some wide leg squats with an added side crunch. We'll get going on those. Let's do this last one on the left leg. Get one more in on the right leg. And back to center, right into those wide-legged squats. So with our feet just a little bit wider than shoulder width, we're going to go down for a squat, not all the way down to 90 degrees, about a 45 degree angle. And when we come up, we're going to take our right knee and crunch to our left elbow. Back down to the wide stance, right knee to the left elbow. The importance here of this wide stance is it's going to really strengthen our adductor muscles and our inner thighs. And with the added crunch, we're also facilitating the engagement of our oblique muscles. So we're really getting the whole body engaged here, keeping them nice and controlled. Nice job. Let's get one more in here with the right leg. And let's do one more. Great job. Now while we're back here in a wide stance, we're just going to go right into a side lunge. So I'm going to go first to the right side, side lunge, hands on the hips, slowly back up to center, and then back down to the left side. And we'll just keep rocking back and forth here. This is great. This stretches out our adductor muscles, which we just were working in those wide legged squats. So let's get going with a couple more of these. And we're going to end in the standing position with some calf raises. Nice and controlled. The range of motion can definitely be the modification for this exercise. You can lunge 
as far down as you feel comfortable. We don't want to feel any pain. This is a stretch, so slight discomfort is okay. Or a small pulsation as well. We just want to feel that stretch in the adductor inner thighs. All right, and let's hop into those calf, ra calf raises here in three, two, one. Awesome. Back to center. So on this mat, if your mat is elevated, you can do these calf raises off of the edge of the mat for a little bit of a more balanced challenge. Or let's just start with the right leg. We're going to do these calf raises one-legged. So join me up and then back down to the center. Plantar flexing the ankle and then back down to the center. Really engaging our calf muscles and a bit of our hamstring as well. We're sticking to the right leg here first. We'll get a couple more of these in and then switch to the left leg. We can modify this by putting this back leg down with the toe on the ground. This will help our balance. These calf raises, the one legged, definitely challenges our balance. But if we need our foot down on the ground, that's definitely okay. All right, let's switch over to the left leg. Same thing, right leg up off the ground. One thing I've noticed helps with the balance is if we're on our left leg, if we take our right arm and touch the right ear or touch your belly button, that helps with balance. So you're welcome to try that out. Again, we really wanna challenge and push ourselves here to work on that balance while also getting a good calf strength in. Okay, let's do three more and we're gonna to head to the ground. Feel free to pause the video and grab a drink of water if you need. Okay, this is the last one here. Up, back down to center, nice job. All right, we're gonna comfortably now get down to the ground and we're gonna start with some leg circles. I'm gonna turn this way here for y'all. So laying flat on our back, I'm gonna start with my left leg. I'm gonna extend my right leg flat to the ground and with this left leg, I'm just going to um, do some circular motions and just circle the leg. This really works our hip flexors, which is great. This can be modified. You can do smaller circles or you can get a full extension and really open up the hip flexors, whatever you're comfortable with. All right, let's get a couple more seconds and then we're just going to switch over to the right leg. All right, and in three, two, one. Nice job, let's bring that leg down. Again, fully extended, bringing the right leg up. Again, doing those leg circles. I challenge you alternating directions. Again, a modification of the range of motion of these circles. It's up to you, whatever y'all are comfortable with. Nice job. From here, we're gonna stay in this supine position and move right into hip thrusters. So let's get one or two more circles in and get going right on those hip thrusters. All right, nice job. Leg down. Let's bring our knees back up. Still flat on the back, keeping our core nice and engaged, belly button through to the ground. We're just gonna hip, raise our hips and thrust so that our knees form a line down with our shoulders. And then back down to the ground slowly. It's important when we reach the peak of this exercise that we're squeezing our glutes and then slowly lowering back down. We don't have to have this full extension. We can modify it with a lower hip thrust or if you're feeling confident with this, I challenge you, do them one leg. Lift up the left leg, still facilitate that hip thrust, come back down, switch and get the right leg. Whatever you're comfortable with, again, just really wanting to engage our glutes in our lower back here, keeping our core nice and engaged. Nice job. Keep it going, everyone. All right, from here, we're gonna do some crunches and some sit-ups. So let's get a couple more hip thrusts in and we're gonna go right into a crunch and alternate our crunches with a full sit-up. So what that's gonna look like, follow me here in a crunch, a crunch, and when we come back down, our next one, is gonna be a full body sit up. Back down, back into a crunch. And then let's get going with these, alternating our crunches with a full body sit up. It's important with these crunches that we're trying to press our forehead to the ceiling and we're not pulling on our neck. We don't wanna cause any strain to our neck or to our spine. 
and with these full body sit-ups, really engaging the core to push ourselves up as far as we can. Nice and controlled, the floor mat's going to be important here so that we're not hurting our spine when we're coming down from the sit-ups. Nice job, let's get a couple more of these in. Great job everyone. I'm going to do one more. Awesome. Make sure to breathe. All right, let's come back down. We're still in the supine position. I'm just going to switch my position here and we're going to go into a windshield wiper. So what that's going to look like, we're going to take our left leg and try to reach over and touch our right arm and back to center. And then we're going to go with our right leg over and touching our left arm. We're just going to hold this here on the left side. This is a great stretch. It stretches out our obliques, a bit of our shoulder, our upper glutes as well. Kind of opens up our whole upper body. Just hold this here for a couple seconds and then we'll go back to center and reach over onto the other leg. Awesome, let's do that now. Nice job, left leg up. Try to get as close to touching your right hand as possible. Really the importance of this exercise is that we're just crossing our leg over our body to facilitate that stretch in our shoulder and our opposite obliques. Nice job. Keep it going a couple more seconds. We're gonna head into another stretch into the figure four, still laying on our back. In three, two, one. Nice job, stay on your back. I'm just gonna switch positions here. Right into that figure four. Let's start with our left leg this time. With our knees bent, we're gonna take our left leg, cross it over our right knee. And with our arms, we're gonna reach under and pull our right knee towards us. This is gonna facilitate a great stretch here in our AV ductor muscles, as well as a bit of our glutes. We wanna pull until we feel just a slight discomfort, but no pain. Making sure to breathe. Still keeping our core engaged in all the exercises we do. We want to make sure we keep an engaged core. Awesome. Let's switch legs now. Right leg over. I'm going to reach through and pull with my left leg. Awesome. Great job, everyone. You're doing great work. Awesome. So from here now, we're going to get out of this figure four and we're just going to roll over to our side and get going with some um, lateral um, leg kicks. So with our legs fully extended, using our elbow to support our upper body, we're gonna take, take our top leg and just laterally raise and then come back down to the ground. Nice job. This is a great exercise for the um, AV ductor muscles as we're feeling the resistance on the outside of our thigh here. Nice, slow, and controlled. We can modify the range of motion here. We can do small lateral leg races or get a full extension and then slowly lowering back down to the ground. Awesome. Great job, everyone. Let's get a couple more of these in and then we're going to switch onto the other leg. Great job. Let's get one more in. Awesome. Nice job. Let's switch over now to the other leg. Again, using our elbow to support our upper body and get going right away on those leg raises. Nice job, everyone, making sure to breathe. Again, the lifting phase in this exercise is just as important as the lowering phase. We really want to fight that resistance to feel the full effect of this exercise. Awesome, great job. Let's get a couple more of these. And while we're still on the ground, we're gonna flip into a prone position for the next couple exercises. Let's get going on that. Let's get one more leg raise in. Full extension, back down. Great job, everyone. So like I said, into that prone position, we're gonna get going on a bird dog. So we're gonna start here with my right arm and left leg and opposite um, leg and arm, full extension out, hold, and then bring back to center. And then again, switch with our left arm, right leg, a full extension, and back to center. If you wanna start with a lower modification, we don't have to do a full extension. We can just do small pulses out. 
This challenges our balance, which is great. So if we need that lower modification, that's totally okay. If we are feeling confident with the full extension, I challenge you when you come back in to form a crunch, elbow to knee, and then back to center. A full extension, crunch, elbow to knee. That challenges our balance a little bit more. Great job. Making sure with this, we're keeping a neutral spine and keeping our core engaged. An engaged core will help facilitate great posture here. Awesome, let's get one more in on this side, one more in on the other side, and we're gonna go right into some push-ups. Nice job, everyone. So let's start these push-ups with the level one. We're gonna start on our knees and just going down into a basic push-up. We're gonna do about 15 seconds here of push-ups. It's important, as I'm talking, keep cranking out those push-ups, but it's important we keep an um, engaged core and a neutral spine. We don't want any soggy bananas or any mountaintops either. We really want to focus on our form here. If we're feeling confident at level one, let's challenge to bring up to level two, up on our toes and down for a push-up. If you're feeling confident with that, I challenge you to narrow your arms and facilitate that same push-up that'll give you a little bit of tricep work, okay? So whatever level you're comfortable at, I'm right there with you. Let's get a couple more push-ups in. Great job, everyone. All right, let's go down for our last push-up. Nice job, everyone. While we're still here in this prone position, we're gonna go into a hip flexor stretch called the pigeon. So starting with my right leg, I'm gonna bring my knee forward and cross over like so. As you can see, I've formed a little bit of an L shape with my right leg. And what I'm gonna do is keeping a very strong and outward chest, I'm gonna lean forward and dig my hips into the ground, keeping a nice proud chest. This stretch is great, it'll stretch out our glutes, our hip flexors, a little bit of our abductor muscles as well. We just wanna hold this stretch. This is a great time to focus on our breathing. Again, really, driving our chest up and out and driving our hips down into the ground. Nice job. I'm going to switch legs now to the left leg. Nice job. Same thing, a nice proud chest, driving the hips into the ground and just feeling that stretch, focusing on my breathing. Nice job, everyone. You're doing great. All right, just a couple more seconds, and we're gonna go into our child's pose. All right, and in three, two, one. Awesome, getting out of that pigeon here, still on our hands and knees, we're just gonna roll backwards onto our ankles, extending our fingers as far as we can, try to reach the top of your mat, really extending our shoulders, our lower back, and just holding the stretch here. Make sure to breathe and extend out as far as you can, really to feel the stretch to the best ability that you can. Awesome, great job. So now that we're here, follow me and we're going to roll up out of the child's pose and move forward into a back extension. Nice job. With this, again, we wanna keep similar to the pigeon stretch, a nice, big, proud chest so that we can feel the stretch. Nice job, hold this here for a couple seconds. This opens up our chest, our abs as well. Nice job, keep breathing. Nice job, everyone. So now, getting back to a standing position, we're gonna roll back again and up onto our toes and we're gonna alternate stretching our calves. Awesome. Nice job. We're just gonna roll our calves, right foot after left foot. Nice job. This stretches out our calves. Great job. Let's keep this going. Keep breathing. Again, keeping a neutral spine, keeping that core engaged. All right, 
Now after these um, calf walks, what we're going to do is staying on our hands and toes. We're just going to bend our knees and slowly walk our hands up to our toes to get back up into a standing position. Nice job, everyone. Once we're back in a comfortable standing position, feel free to pause, grab some water. We're back up. We're going to get going again on those side steps. Awesome. Next job, let's get those side steps going again. We're almost done with the workout here. Awesome, after you've joined me here on these side steps, we're gonna start taking our right arm and extend it forward with our fingers pointing up and with the opposite hand, we're gonna pull our fingers back. This is a great stretch for the bicep. Awesome, keep this going. Great job. A couple more seconds, and now let's switch to the left arm, pulling our left fingers back. Again, really stretching out our bicep with a full arm extension. Nice job. So now while we're still here on the left arm, we're going to switch and still with palms facing forward, we're going to bend our fingers down and pull them into our body. This stretches out our forearm. Nice job. Keep going a couple seconds of this and we'll do the same stretch over on the right arm. All right, let's do that now. Again, pulling our fingers into our body. Nice job, everyone. All right, I'm gonna face forward again and we're gonna go ahead and get right into a tricep stretch. So with our right arm first this time, up over our body using the left arm to pull our arm and our elbow over back behind our head. This stretches up the tricep. Nice job, keep those side steps going. We wanna get our heart rate back up in preparation for the workout. Nice job, let's switch over to the left arm. Really pull until you feel that stretch. You don't wanna feel any pain, just slight discomfort. Awesome, now we're gonna get the shoulder stretched out by reaching across our body and pulling our arm again, close into our body. With this, it's important we don't wanna pull exactly on the elbow joint. We wanna be either inferior or superior to the elbow joint and pulling. We should feel this one in our shoulders. Great job. Let's switch arms here. Great job. Let's hold this a couple more seconds. All right, and let's stop with those side steps as well here in three, two, one. Awesome, great job. We're gonna now do a chest extension. So we're gonna pull our arms like we're ripping something open. We're gonna pull back all the way until we feel our shoulder blades retracting behind us and we just wanna pull and extend that chest. Extend that chest. Awesome. Let's just hold this one for a couple more seconds. Really squeezing our shoulder blades, opening up that chest, feeling the stretch all in our anterior upper body. Awesome, nice job. And now with just the opposite, we're gonna take our arms and bring them in front of us. We're gonna cross our arms once and then cross again. What this does is it naturally rounds our back. So it's gonna stretch out our back and pull forward so that we get a little bit of our um, deltoids stretched as well. This one's a little funky, but you got it. We're almost there, everyone. Awesome, we're gonna go right into a quad stretch, get a little bit of balance in here at that tail end of our warm up. And let's do that together here in three, two, one, starting with the right leg, pulling it up, pulling at our ankle and feeling the stretch here in our quad. Again, this challenges our balance. So again, like at the beginning of the warm up, we can either touch our opposite ear with the opposite hand or our belly button as well. Awesome, let's hold this a couple more seconds in three, two, one, onto the left leg, same thing. Pulling up with the quad until we feel that stretch. Focusing on the breathing, again, maintaining a neutral spine and engaged core. Keep breathing, everyone. Nice job. Our final stretch is um, gonna be a full body roll, which is gonna stretch out our hamstring a little bit. So if we drop our left leg there, and if you join me, we're gonna reach up, 
take a nice inhalation, and then we're gonna extend our right leg forward with our heel on the ground with a slight bend in the left leg. When we exhale, we're gonna come down and reach down. With our leg extended here, we should feel the stretch all the way in our hamstrings. And now back up, a deep breath in. We're gonna switch our legs. Left heel planted in the ground, a bend in the right knee. Exhale and come down to the ground. Awesome. Now we're gonna come back up to center. Great job. So now everyone, we're just gonna end on a bit of a cardio note and then we'll be all set for the workout. So what I'm gonna have y'all doing is start doing some small jumps like this. I have about 12 years of competitive jump roping background. And so what we did was a lot of footwork. This is really great. It focuses on balance, some coordination, and definitely gets our heart rate up. So we're gonna do some jump rope footwork today, minus the rope, of course. So with me, we're gonna get going into some side straddles. Legs apart, together. Straddled, together. Keep that going with the jumps. All these footwork moves can be modified. We can just eliminate the jump. Still doing the footwork. We're still working on our balance and coordination. Just not so heavy on the heart. Totally okay. After these side straddles, we're gonna do some forward straddles. So, straddling right leg in front of us, left leg behind, back to center. Switch legs, left leg forward, right leg back. Back to center. Let's keep going on those. Again, we can eliminate the jump and still focus on that footwork. All right. Now, we're gonna get into some skiers. For those of you who ski, we're just going side to side, keeping our legs together. Great job, just like we're skiing down the mountain. Awesome. We've got one more. We're gonna do the X cross. So with our legs, we're gonna straddle, come together and cross. Straddle, other leg in front for the cross. Nice job, everyone. Let's do a couple more of these, we're almost there. All right, and nice job everyone. Thank you so much for attending my warm-up class today, and I hope you enjoy your workout following. Thank you so much.